Uh, draft will be fine on thanks. Draft with a large head on it, right? That knows me like a book. Got it. Has Woo! Ah, <laughs> wonderful. Frank, look at Bucky. What do you think is wrong with him? Worried about his Uncle Seneca, I should imagine. Well, maybe I'll uh, go ask him if he wants a little company later. Okay. How are you doing on that? Oh, everything's fine except one very important thing. What's that? Well, it has to do with you, actually. Oh, you can't put that down on the schedule. Sure, here it is. A D with a little star beside All right, let me see yeah, that. Well, come the council is a busy see... man. You okay, never know. Let me see that. Uh... <laughs> okay. D. Frank, there's no star over here. Mm hmm it doesn't mean I'm not looking forward to it. Hmm. Hmm. Hello, Frank. Do you? Hello, Roger. Say, uh, can I get a bite to eat? Um, Roger, why don't you sit at a table? No, oh, here's just fine. Well, what would you like? Whatever Frank had is good enough for me. In fact, what did you have, Frank? Uh, soup and a club sandwich. Well, I would like exactly what Frank's had. I don't know if we have enough soup. Well, it's still early. Uh, would you check for me? Okay. You know, Frank, I've probably known Delia for about as long as you have, wouldn't you say? <laughs> probably. Oh, not as well, of course, until very recently. Oh, Dee, listen, I'm hungrier than Frank. Could I add a side order of french fries to that? Sure. You know, I'm amazed at how much she's grown up. I saw a lot of her at the hospital last fall during her illness. I've got to say that she seemed rather childlike and overwhelmed by it all. Well, that was a bad time for her. It was for all of us. But you know, last night after you left Lambs, Delia and I had a very intelligent adult conversation. Oh, what about? Well, mostly about you. Oh, yeah. Did uh, you see Sheila? Did she come in? Oh, yes, the mysterious Sheila. Uh, just in passing, she was coming in as I was going out. Huh. French fries will be ready in about a minute. Uh, you must be beginning to think that uh, Sheila's a figment of Dee's imagination. <laughs> no, I'm uh, just having a little trouble meeting her, that's um, all. Um, Margie, you want a drink? Sure. Whatever Frank had. Hey, Frank, will you come down here and set this bet on the Tem Dempsey Dunny Tunny fight? <laughs> okay, Kevin. All right, uh, duty call. Please get out of here, please. I'll do anything for you. Then just do it. Okay. How soon will I see you? So ah! very soon, I promise you. Okay. Just go. <laughs> Looks like you've got another admirer. Who? <laughs> Roger, he's a real fan of yours. Uh, what do you mean by that? Nothing, I was just saying... Nothing, what's the matter, Dick? I just, I don't know what you're talking about. Hey! should destroy a family that's meant to be together. Finally this week. Natalie didn't have another man's baby. She had John's. Why are you still carrying around my son's paternity test? You've got something to tell me. You need to start talking. Oh, my God. 
Watch One Life to Live, weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 9 on SoapNet. Very sunny Corinthos. The son of a mob boss framed by his enemy. I'm here to arrest you for the murder of Brandon Law. Can Sonny save one son by forcing the hand of the other? There are lines I will not cross. Use your badge this time to protect your brother. Watch General Hospital, weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. You know how it is. You look in the mirror one day and you go, how am I going to lose this weight? E-Diet's meal delivery from eDiets.com. It's the easiest, smartest, most delicious way to eat great and finally lose the weight. I know you're thinking, eat great and lose weight? Really? Really. You'll love the food. There's no MSG, no fake sugars. The food tastes fantastic. It's awesome. Very delicious. It tastes wonderful. Call now or go to eDiets.com. Choose from over 100 fresh prepared meals. Not dehydrated diet food, but really delicious food. eDiets will deliver your favorite meals and snacks in a chill, fresh container. All you have to do is relax, enjoy, and eat great all the way to slim. I lost 115 pounds. 65 pounds. 25 pounds. 94 pounds. Along the way, eDiets.com gives you real support. Terrific online tools, access to registered dietitians and trainers, and friends who care about your success. They're there with you to hold your hand, and they really care. Truthfully, I like everything about eDiet. I've lost 30 pounds. All of a sudden, I find myself a changed person. Hey, I made it to 50 pounds, and look at me now, I'm 60 pounds. Millions of people have turned to eDiets.com to lose the weight. Now it's your turn. Call or go to eDiets.com and sign up for seven full days of meals, three meals per day, fresh prepared just for you, plus snacks. So don't wait. Join eDiets. Eat great food and lose weight fast. I believe that eDiets can change people's lives. My husband will often say, you're the hot wife. That's just boosted my confidence a lot. eDiets has changed my life forever. Call to find out how you can get one week of meals absolutely free. That's right. One week of fresh prepared food. One week of weight loss. One week of success. Free. Free? What are you waiting for? Call or go online to get started now. Call 1-800-279-1604 or visit eDiets.com now. I don't want any coffee. I just want you. Oh, excuse me. Hi, Rod. Don't mind me. Can somebody get me something cold, please? All right, I'll manage. Hi, Buck. Oh, hey, hi. Hi. Busy? Oh, a little. You're all keyed oh, up. Exhausted. Had to handle an abandoned television station at airtime today. Abandoned? Nobody but me and one technician. No Sam, no Reenie, and no explanation. Here you go, Mary. Thanks, Dean. I'm sorry. I'm in thank you, Delia. Where'd everybody go? I don't know. Reenie just never showed, but Sam left this. Mary Ryan, it's all yours. Have fun, love, Sam. Is that the kind of note a boss leaves his employee? Where'd he go? Around the corner or around the world? Is he coming back? If so, when? What then? <coughs> Tune in tomorrow. Right. Ah, sounds like he's giving you the whole uh, TV station. I don't think he's allowed to do that. I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't think so, no. Besides, I got a Mississippi River honeymoon coming up, and I'm not taking Channel R with us. Mary, is that where you're going? <laughs> yep, Jack booked us a state room on the <laughs> River Creek. The stern wheeler that cruises down the Mississippi. Oh, man, that's going to be it's wonderful. It's been his dream for years. I can't wait. Well, it, uh, one special thing that happened today, huh? One good thing? Difficult as it may be for anybody around here to realize, Jack is a constant good thing in my life. Now all I got to do is figure this thing out. Uh, I can tell you what that means. Sam was in here today with his suitcases, and he, uh... I'm still trying to believe it. He was uh, running a marijuana operation, and Rini was his assistant, I guess you'd call it. Nick found out about it and told Sam to get out of town. I don't believe it. Neither do I. You wrecked everything. Just in time. Yeah, just in time to drive Buggy Carter out of my life forever. Just in time to make me lose his $30 million. Rini, I don't care what you no, lost. No, you don't care. You never cared about Look, I, I care that you grow up into a decent woman, not some crummy dough pusher peddling grass on the dock. All I wanted was a little pocket money.
money and you wouldn't even give me that. Now I got nothing. I got a big zero. No. No, that's where you're dead wrong. You've got something I should have given you a long time ago. Yeah, what? A lesson that you never forget. Rini, I don't blame you or that bum crowd for this as much as I blame myself. I, I should have done something like this a long time ago when you were young enough to be spanked. Now you listen, and you listen good. You can lose another $30 million, or you can wait tables for the rest of your life, but no kid of mine is gonna end up in the rackets. going so well and now it's just one big miserable humiliation ah my sweetheart you just learned that nothing comes quick and easy it does for some people oh Bucky well he's got 30 million dollars but you told me yourself he's half crazy he doesn't know who likes him for himself or who likes him for his money you told me yeah but what what yeah I mean, well, nothing is easy. It's not easy to be rich, not easy to be poor. I'd rather be rich. Uh, well, who wouldn't? But, Rini, you don't get rich peddling marijuana in bags for $2,000 a throw. You don't get rich for doing that. You get killed. I wasn't going to do it forever. Well, nobody does. But how do you know when it's enough? How do you know uh, when you're going to get caught? I mean, what's the price you pay if you get caught? You don't know what it's like to lose everything. No. <laughs> you know, the day your mother, your mother left, seemed like I lost everything. Why? Well, I, I learned to love the car and the oriental rugs and the house, but, man, they don't love you back. It seemed I lost everything, or well, pretty close to it. Yeah. I'm sorry, Dad. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I spent a lot of time sending you to school and to camps. So a lot of time that's gone. I'll never come back. But we don't have to waste any more. If you let me try. Sure. Hey, hey, listen, why don't we go away, huh, for a couple of weeks? Where? Oh, I don't know, uh, someplace fun. Vegas! <laughs> How about Vegas? I just do it. Well, Las Vegas with you? Sure. That would be fun. Yeah, all that glitz and noise. We'll throw away money just to show that it doesn't mean a thing. Yeah. Hey, come on, what's the matter? Bucky. Look, in time, everything will... No, never, not this time. And the saddest part about it is I liked him. I really like Bucky a lot. And now he'll never know. He'll always think it was the money. Well, I didn't know her long. And I obviously didn't know her too well, but there's something about Rainy, some part of her that I'm really gonna miss a lot. I don't know what to do about it. Money. And all the things it can do is very important to a lot of people. <laughs> and I don't know how I can ever hope to be more important than my money. This one really hurt, though, boy. Boy, Rini, uh, really made me believe that the money was the least important thing to her. I really thought she liked me. Sacrifice. I gave up my sight to have a healthy baby. His dark secret. My daughter's dead. I'm lying to my wife. This week. I wouldn't see again. Dangerous news. What if I could make that happen? Watch All My Children. Weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 8 on SoapNet. The best part of any great meal? Delicious gourmet gravy. And she agrees. With Fancy Feast Gravy Lovers, your cat can enjoy the delicious, satisfying taste of gourmet gravy every day. Fancy Feast. The best ingredient is love. You can change the way you look. I have two children and could not get rid of those last 20 pounds until I tried Quick Trim's Extreme Burn. I went from a size 8 to a size 0, and I'm thrilled. Quick Trim. Create the body you deserve. 
Oh, allergy season. Good thing it's Allegra season. I bought it at Walmart without a prescription. Allegra gives you fast, non-drowsy, 24-hour relief of your toughest symptoms. Get Allegra at an everyday low price at Walmart. Hey, you want that? You want a warm, super delicious strawberry toaster strudel. Yeah, but no, I have nothing to eat. Sure you do. Hey! You can have the Pop-Tart. Pillsbury toaster strudel. The one kids want to eat. Want more of your favorite soaps? That's great. Log on to abc.com slash daytime. Watch current full episodes of All My Children, General Hospital, and One Life to Live. Online critics love it. Plus, get exclusive sneak peeks of what's coming up next. Sounds like a thumbs up to me. Connect with other fans to discuss what's on your mind. I always want to hear what you have to say. And check out the 101 galleries to get an intimate look at the history of your favorite characters. That's the best news I've heard all day. Find it all now at abc.com slash daytime. Well, if it's any comfort, you're not alone. You were taken in by Rini, I was taken in by Sam. <laughs> Here's this guy coming on like the big defender of public morality. And all the time he was using Channel R as the cover for a grass operation. I'd like to know how you ever know what people are really like. One minute they love you, and the next minute they can turn on you, right? Ladies. The councilman has an emergency. What's the matter? Uh, that was Charlie Ferris on the phone. There's a dance tonight in the Spanish-speaking community, and I've been invited to attend. Charlie never invites. Charlie urges. Uh, I have been urged to attend. So go. You, you weren't listening, kid. I said, a dance. Uh-oh, yeah. stick legs. <laughs> no, no, listen, the, the, the legs are in good shape. I, I tried them out last week at a block party, but uh, that was Foxtrots and Lindy's. Tonight is Mambo's and <laughs> Marimba's. Marimba's. <laughs> you, you see what I mean? All you right. devil. All right, grab your okay. husband. We are going to have some Latin dancing. Um, well, I'm not very good at that kind of dancing. Come on, you got to be better than a mop. Oh, uh, yeah, but my mind's really not on it. Okay, really. Okay, Bucky? No, no, forget it. Come on, it'll cheer you up. Oh, no, come on. Look, I don't think it'll be much help. If not for yourself, then for your country. <laughs> hmm? What? This, this man is running for Congress. His country needs him. <laughs> what, By right? dancing with him, you will claim an immortal place in history. <clears throat> oh, gee, God. Oh, oh, hey, 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 hey. Oh, oh, good, good, good. Please come on. Come on. Um, Look, uh, oh, why, don't, why don't you do it? And I'll have to help Kevin for just a minute, okay? Come on, go gee, ahead. Go ahead. Thanks. Okay, fellas. How did the good doctor's trial go today? Well, it looked like we were home free for an acquittal. Oh, congratulations. That's you know, terrific. No, Kevin, then Seneca blew it. He took the stand, and in the most emotional and I must say beautiful way, he tried to justify what he did for his wife. And then in the process, he told everything, and I think wound up playing right into the prosecution's hands. Oh, no. So I don't know where we stand now. Jury's locked up for the night, Seneca's home. I tried to get him to come here with me, but he's just far off somewhere. Well, look, it's going to turn all out right, because he's with you, and... <laughs> Kevin, I hope so. I really hope so. Well, that's dancing is mainly in the hips. Keep the hips loose. If the hips are right, your feet will follow. Hmm. How am I doing? Oh, okay. Jill? Jill, can I talk to you for a minute, please? Nothing heavy, Dee, please. I've had a bad day. Okay, I'm sorry. I know that. Jill, I'm desperate. Roger? Yeah. He's being very bad, and I really, I can't handle him anymore. Well, you seem to think he could before. All right, I was wrong. See, I don't think he's going to be satisfied until Frank knows. So it's helpless, D. I mean, you got yourself into this mess, and now you want somebody else to clean it up? All right, look, I know you hate me, Oh, no, D. No. But I don't feel sorry for you, either. The words you're looking for are pity and contempt. You and Roger are a pair of spoiled infants that deserve each other. Okay. And look at Frank. Now, what does he deserve? Look at him. He's dancing. And he's alive. And it's a miracle that, that he's even here and he's having the time of his life. Jill, would you just look at him, please? Dee, will you just stop it? All right, all right. I'm, I'm sorry. I just don't want Roger to tell. Really, he's going to ruin everything that Frank has worked so hard to have come together. Jill, he'll listen to you. Talk to him, please. For Frank. 
How am I doing? Bravo! Bravo! Oh, thank you so much! One, two, one, two, three! <laughs> Next, spend some time in Genoa City with the young and the restless. Later, see who's stirring up trouble in Pine Valley on All My Children. Only on SoapNet. 15 seconds with Michael Easton. What do I like to do on my downtime for fun? I have this old Norton 850 Commando motorcycle that I spend most of my time working on and occasionally getting to ride. Catch Michael Easton on One Life to Live weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 9 on SoapNet. Some people don't like any added sugar in their juice. That's why we make Ocean Spray 100% juice. It has plenty of natural goodness, but there's no added sugar. So say hello to 100% juice. And goodbye to added sugar. I thought we weren't adding any sugar. Oh. Uh. OK, nobody use these cranberries over, over here. Also try Ocean Spray Light, only 50 calories and a full serving of fruit. Scott Natural's hybrid paper products work so well that people everywhere are helping save trees. Without even noticing. Uh, Mom. Learn more about the Scott Natural's four-week test drive at scottbrand.com. I'm Joanna from Texas. I lost 34 pounds with HydroxyCut. I've never looked better. I'm Matt from Colorado. I lost 54 pounds. HydroxyCut really works. HydroxyCut and HydroxyCut Max. Lose weight. Start now. Hop on over to SoapNet to catch the latest Genoa City drama. This is going to be very, very good. The Young and the Restless tonight at 7 on SoapNet. The truth is out. Their lives exposed. Their secrets revealed. <gasps> the book everyone's talking about. And now the reviews are in. You're going to burn one book this year? Burn this one. The secret life of Damien Spinelli has hit the shelves, and things will never be the same on General Hospital. Scandalous. The secret life of Damien Spinelli. Now available at ABC.com and wherever books are sold. Who still uses the word minx? People are talking about General Hospital's Sean Butler. Patricia Rich posted on Facebook, he is a good-looking bad boy with a good side. I'm really digging this one. Elizabeth Cross agrees. Oh, yes, he is a sexy man. Sookie Williams Ellis adds, I trust my eyes when I look at him, and they like what they see. Judy McCoy says, good choice, GH. And Kathleen Hahn sums it up. So damn hot. People are talking about General Hospital. Weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. Very sunny Corinthos. The son of a mob boss framed by his enemy. I'm here to arrest you for the murder of Brandon Long. Can Sonny save one son by forcing the hand of the other? There are lines I will not cross. Use your badge this time to protect your brother. Watch General Hospital. Weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. No, not D, me. Sorry. Well, I hope this will be a pleasant surprise. May I? Sure. Thanks. Well, how did it go in court today? That depends on whose side you're on. I think that you'll probably get your wish. Oh? I think that they'll convict Seneca. That should please you. No, I won't. Uh take any pleasure in that, Jill. Just satisfaction in knowing that justice has been done. Can I get you a drink? No, thanks. Roger, you and I have never been the closest of brothers and sisters. But we have had our moments. I hope so. 
I would like this to be one of them. This sounds serious. It is. You're about to wreck a marriage. Frank and Dee. Yeah. No, I'm not wrecking anything. That marriage is a failure, isn't it? I don't think so. Not anymore. Frank loves you, and Delia loves me. But they're happily married. Oh, Roger, stop being flipped. There's much too much at stake. No, I'm just trying to uh, follow your logic. They are working on it. They are both working very hard. But in the meantime, she finds me irresistible. Roger, she has been frantically trying to split this up with you, and you know it. All right, but not because she doesn't love me. She's terrified. I, mean, I, I can see that, Jill. I, I'm not blind. Look, she's afraid to leave the only protection she's ever known. She's afraid to come out from behind that, that Ryan wall. When she fell in love with me, it was the first time she had ever had an intimate relationship with anyone outside of the Ryans. Now, don't you see that? I think that's significant. No wonder she's scared when she thinks about, about leaving that security and, and the family bonds. Then why force her into it? I'm not forcing her. I just want to make it possible for Dee to do what she really wants to do. Roger. Roger, she has come to me more than once begging me to talk to you. Has she? Well, you know that she doesn't want protection from me, Jill. She wants to be protected from herself. All right, either way, she doesn't want to leave Frank. But I'd still be better for him than he is. Don't you see that? No. I guess I'll just have to prove it. To you, to her, to everyone. Why? Because I want her. It comes down to that. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. Has nothing to do with what Dee wants. It's what you want, Roger. It's one in the same thing. No, it isn't. That's the difference. It was one and the same when it came to Frank and myself because Frank could, was capable of making a decision Dee isn't. She's easy prey and you know it. Oh, sure, I wanted Frank. I could have split that marriage up with half the effort that you're using now, but I didn't. Maybe you should have. No, Roger. Because Frank's career and his future would have had to pay the price. The Ryans would have had to pay the price. The Holy Ryans! That's right, the Ryans. Johnny and Ryan and your father were the best of friends. When our father died, you saw the meaning of that friendship. I should think that you would have especially been comforted by the fact that they were willing to forgive you that much. And now you're willing to sacrifice all that for, a, for an affair with Dee? It's not an affair. We love each other. Roger. Dee doesn't see it like that. We don't agree about the Ryans, Joe. They forgive what's convenient for them to forgive. They're like a steamroller. You get in the way of Orion and you get knocked down. Now they have suppressed and stifled Delia for all these years. Well, I can give her a way out, finally. And I'm going to do it. And once Frank knows the truth, it's going to be the best thing for everyone and everybody concerned. For you, Roger. And for you. Frank will be available. He'll be free for you. I'll have the girl I love. And the Ryans will cope as they always have. Very well. Just like that. Once Frank knows, just like that. In Port Charles, revenge is a priority, relationships are disposable, and good medical care is a necessity. Keep up with this fast-paced city with an all-new episode of General Hospital, weeknights at 10 on SoapNet.